Hello and welcome back to some more Tour de France 2021. This is part 7 of our playthrough with Team Jumbo Visma and uh, in today's episode we've got stage 7 which is the first mountain uh, stage of the this year's tour uh, and things are going really really well at the moment. Um, Yates uh, apparently won the stage. I didn't think that was true was it? Ah okay there we go. Uh, that was uh, one. Last time out, I, I didn't know you could do this. Well, that's uh, uh, that's new for me. But uh, there you go. <laughs> anyway, uh, Van Art won at the last um, stage, stage six, of course, and uh, he's actually doing really, really well now. Pedersen up there as well. Um, none of our other guys were really in contention last time out. It was a, it was a flat stage, but uh, it all means that Van Art is actually leading the general classification at the moment. 27 seconds ahead of Evan Apoe and uh, Rojlik uh, is in third there. Pogacar is fifth. Uh, we've got uh, Dumoulin as well, uh, who is one of ours, and uh, Bennett down there as well. So we've got four of our guys in the top ten. I think it's fair to say things are going well so far. We have got the polka dot with uh, Rojlik. Uh, Van Aert has got the green jersey. Uh, the only one we haven't got is the white one for the young riders, which we can't possibly get. We're leading the team classification and uh, the combativity as well. But this is a nerve-wracking one, the first mountain stage. So yeah, uh, it's actually not the first mountain stage. I tell a lie, it's a hilly stage, which uh, we've had a couple of them so far. Unbelievable me getting that wrong. Uh, but yeah, we are setting up for two very, very uh, mountainous uh, rides in stages eight and nine. There's some bonus points available though, which I think will be Today all over. Today is a tiring route, where the closing kilometers should suit the punches. Given that we're heading the general classification, we'll have to set the pace at the front of the peloton. For me, our lead should be enough to keep us out of danger. We're amongst the outsiders for the stage win, and it will be difficult to surprise the favourites. But we should be able to finish in the top five. Good race, guys. Go, go! Okay, let's go for it. Uh, Bennett's the leader for the stage. It will be difficult to uh, surprise the best punches, but a top five spot is possible, apparently. So let's uh, play the stage, as always. Maybe a little bit less nerve-wracking. We get Rojlish and um, and Van Aert in the peloton, and hopefully um, all will be good, and we can get Bennett Bennett going a little bit. But uh, let's have a little look. So you can um, you can see the conditions. That they're, they're, they're not great. I must admit the conditions aren't absolutely brilliant. Um, at the moment, but I think maybe we do go with Bennett. Let everybody else stay in the peloton and, and see what you can do. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Even though we're not in the mountains, today's stage is much to be feared by numerous riders. With over 250 kilometers in the saddle and a very demanding closing stretch, it won't be a surprise to see a few breakdowns along the route. Plenty of energy in the bank today. It's going to be a fairly long one. Obviously two uh, sprints as well. So 50 points for the stage win again. Um, let's see. He was to have a go. going for it. He's already on the attack. So let's see if Bennett can go with him. Okay, guys. Today's stage is really long. You're going to have to keep something in the tank to be able to get through the final 50 kilometers. Good luck. Already got 23 seconds on the peloton. You can see Peters has come up with us. And we've got a three strong breakaway. There are a few other guys that are Watch out. coming towards us. You'll soon have no more energy for an attack. Something good. What on earth? Roland had a hard blue face. Right, 
we go. We'll stick with the pace of these guys and uh, yeah, successful breakaway. Not often we you get that in the the first breakaway of the day. Obviously, they are not too far away. Um, and actually, the peloton are closing in again now. But come on, let's go for it again. Try and get that gap out. Well, the uh, the breakaway, six and a half minutes ahead at the front three. I don't think they're going to be able to, uh, to hold it the whole way. But uh, we've got an intermediate sprint coming. They're, they're within three kilometres now. Three kilometres from the intermediate sprint. We're not too far away from that. Um, but yeah, six and a half minutes. It's, you know, equally it's going to be tough for us to, to catch up to them. Um, but, you know, hopefully... Uh, Van, Aert, Van, Aert, Van, Aert, Van Aert can get himself some more points. You know, he's already over 100 points ahead in the uh, green jersey classification in the points. And uh, there's the five kilometre mark coming. And you can clearly see Razor's gone ahead and he's going to win that. So he gets the 20 points. Peter's second hint in third, His but there's thirteen points. No doubt readying the intermediate sprint. You know, we're well placed here. Just need to make sure that when it gets to within a kilometre, we are ready to go. We'll be getting a feed reasonably soon as well. So 2.2 kilometers away now. And there's the one kilometer line. Oh, we got swamped a little bit there, but should be okay as we're now pushing forward and that should be a very very sweet victory for Van Van Aert how's Grona Vegan looking not too bad get in the top 15 no I don't think he did that's a pity so Van Aert uh, wait for the following group and yeah we'll uh, see how things are going Come the next feed zone. While you join me, around about uh, three quarters of the way through, we are making our way up a steady uh, incline, and uh, you know, in a pretty good position in this stage. The peloton is getting strung out just a little bit here. Got to be a little bit careful. Um, trying to keep the momentum up a little bit. Yeah, that's a Come on. Yeah, this is going to be crazy how much uh... oh it looked like there was nearly a crash in the pennant the peloton there just got to be careful around these bends oh my word they the are going close managing to hold off the peloton the gap seems to have stabilized but okay here yeah. hopefully getting most of our energy back just need to check that yeah, Van Aert, uh, Van Aert isn't in there. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, the peloton will bunch up again. But uh, it's all very interesting. Grona Vegan is probably going to get lost. Yeah, but that's fine. He's not a... 
He's not a punch -a. He's there for the flat stages, as we've always said. And we'll see how he gets on. A possible little chance here for Roslic to go and get himself some points, but uh, it's yeah, it's all getting strung out a little bit. So we just need to make sure we're up here, and not you know losing too much. Some of them are going to have to start taking their, their feeds. Yeah, half for him. Dumoulin. Get him some as well. Probably need to get him his blue gel to keep him going. Get Martin his blue okay. gel. So Peterson hurts, win it. Try and get to the top with uh, Van Art here. So he's starting to lose a little bit of time. Right, maybe we can say to this group set a high tempo. Let's see what comes of it. That's well, very interesting that that's become the peloton now. Yeah, just trying to keep an eye on it. Obviously, Rochlik. Last know, time very checked good with position. the position. One minute. Ah, we're we're all together again now. The front which of the is race good. is at the foot of the last climb. Now then. I think we go with Rojlish here to try and get ourselves the day. The signal du some time back. It may not be a very long climb, but the last two kilometers are really steep because the average slope is over eleven percent. After more than two hundred and thirty kilometers in the saddle, that's gonna leave a mark. So just keep him in a good position. Yeah, we're catching up to Peters very, very quickly. We'll have to keep something in reserve if we want to get away in the final kilometers. Yeah, it's all about going as slow as you can here. Spending as little energy. Has just been dropped. You can't count on him any longer. Okay, so Martin's gone now. This isn't the time. Right. Yeah, probably just need to. Okay, I'll consume a feed. Get him some feed. The peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed. We'll get ourselves in here. They're riding hard behind. This isn't the moment to relax. The front of the race is less than two kilometers from the summit. 
It's on to the mm -hmm. most challenging. Okay. So how's Rogelik doing? He's tenth at the moment. And this is a the hell of a climb. Watch out for him. He's the best puncher in the breakaway. He's trying to get out of the peloton. Watch out. And a little bit of spice to it. Watch out, he's going on the attack. Summit is a side to the man of the tight. fight. Less than 20 kilometers left for him. Break away over. Just going to stick to his wheels. Go on, Roglic. Oh, no. Oh, just about. Just about did it. That was a little bit dirty, I suppose, at the end. But, uh, oh, there you go. Right. He's going to have to have his red gel. Bennett's going to have to have his blue gel. Martin, uh, his red gel. Might as well give Gronavagan his as well. Um, yeah, Cus is going to have to have it. The lead group goes over the top of the Signal du Champ. There's still a long rising false flat of 2.5 kilometers on which to edge clear. If that doesn't do it, it will be decided in a sprint. So on the downhill stretch now. Excellent. You increase your lead on the overall climber standings. Don't want to expend too much energy. That's the main thing here. Let's just be sensible about it. Yeah, and we're all part of the same group now. It is not always a good idea to be too many in a breakaway, as the others will not necessarily want to cooperate with us. Oh my word. <laughs> yeah, Kus is up here. Which is good. In theory, we should have all of our energy back by the end of this little hill. Yeah, Roglic is something good. Get De Moulin his blue gel. Yeah, okay. that's something good. I'll consume a feed. Something good. Okay, so 10 kilometers to go. What can we get out of this? It's going to be nervy. It's definitely going to be nervy. The last 10 kilometers. We are... Just checking that we're still all right. Still seem okay. Waiting for a grouped finish. Try to take points for our green jersey. Attack. No need to ask questions. Oh, He's moving on to the attack. I'm gonna make sure that we're part of that. Lander's here as well, so... He's got his teammates riding because he's a danger to the overall standing. It's gonna follow you, Lander. Don't get away that easy. Attack! No need to ask questions. Shackman's gone. He's turning the screw. You can't really let them get away. Go 
A little downhill section coming up as well. Now it's downhill almost all the way to the finishing line. The men at the front will have to fight it out in the sprint. Well, Roachlick isn't up here. Well, that's fine. Attack! No need to ask questions. We're coming up to the five kilometer line Only now. Five kilometers before the finish of this marathon stage. And the riders will be spared nothing because even the final kilometer is on a rising false flat. There's Ala Philippe. Now then. Get them to set a high tempo. Yeah, within three kilometers now. Oh no! Damn it! That was a bad idea. I, I was too busy looking at the feeds. And here's the red pen. How annoying! Well, that is uh, that is quite annoying. Okay, I'll put in a big acceleration. Watch out! You'll soon have no more energy for an attack. Ooh, it's gonna be so close. We might do it. Well, we did, despite the crash there. We did manage to do it. Goodness me. That could have cost us very dearly. But we're okay. We've done it. Yeah, it was a good little burst of pace, wasn't it? And you can see we just had that little bit extra in the end there from Van Aert. And he did do it. And he wins another stage in this Tour de France. He is on fire. He really is on fire. Um, no idea where Roglic uh, finished in the end, but that's another big, big victory for Van Aert. This stage is his. He was the strongest. to master his rivals in order to raise his arms in victory. Congratulations to him for this high-flying performance. He's in sparkling form, and you can clap him loudly. Here's the yellow jersey of this Tour de France. Walt Let's hope for his sake that things go as well in the future. But he's amongst the leading riders this year. Well, he is just picking them all up. We can say that everything is going well for him at the moment. Here's the polka dot jersey of this And there's Roglic. Primoz Roglic! He tops the standings and will receive the traditional honours. Well, that'll be... ...having a pull here now with the young rider jersey. And we can be very, very, very happy with well all of that. Well done, lads. Congratulations to you. I hope that we play a leading role, but from that to win this stage, you have put in a superb performance. Well done for this win. We retain the yellow jersey. It's a perfect day. Well, there you go. Alaphilippe finishes second. Uh, we've got Rod Rodlik uh, finishing sixth there. Pogacar finishing seventh. Kavakovsky finishing eighth. Fuglesang there. Quintana. Uh, McAlanda 
banal. So many of the big boys were there, ready and raring to go at the end. And uh, plenty of us in the top 25, you know, all the way down to Bennett um, in the top 25. Martin, 42nd. Grona Vegan, uh, 137. Uh, but that's not too bad. So if we push forward, Van Aert now leading by 27 points over his teammate uh, Primaz Roglic. Uh, he is 29 seconds behind, but he is in second at the moment. Dumoulin is still sixth, uh, so we still have three riders in the top 10. Bennett drops to 13th, Kreuzweig. Uh, goes to 19th, Cus 25th, Martin 29th, and Gronewegen 109th. Uh, in the best climber classification, Roglic uh, leading the way, nine points for him now, which is very, very good. Uh, points classification, Van Aert is just is storming it. He is 117 points ahead of Van der Poel. That's going to be a really tough lead to overturn your field. Um, Jumbo Visma, of course, leading the way on that one. But let's uh, have a little look at what faces us tomorrow. Boy, is that going to be a toughie. And it could well decide how well we're going to do in this Tour de France. Uh, it is really going to be very, very tough. Uh, starting off with a, a second-class climb and, you know, ending up with that bonus points. Uh, First-class climb towards the end and a lovely downhill it's a day in the mountains. The uh, stretch to... At the top of the climb. The, uh, the final sprint, but uh, there you go. That's where we're going to leave it for today. If you have enjoyed that, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for more Tour de France content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.